to your left hand side of the screen just going out of view is the main bridge in Lisbon which is the Pont uh, 25 du Abril Bridge it is 2277 meters in length which is 7470 feet or thereabouts and below the water line or below the bridge height of the water line is 70 meters or 230 feet it was um, opened in 1966 and then in 1999 they wanted to carry trains under it so they just put instead of building a new bridge they actually built a rail track under the existing bridge which is why today if you're very lucky when you cruise under it you can have your own version of trains planes and automobiles remember that film and while we await to go under the bridge or for anthem of the seas to actually go under the bridge here's a quick look round at uh, six o'clock in the morning of the decks there's a few people milling around as you can see uh, but nobody's in the swimming pool yet And here we go, we're about to go under this remarkable bridge which is modelled on the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. And I believe that the uh, trip that we went on here, they did explain it was actually designed by the same person. But I'm not 100% certain of that one, but it's certainly modelled and known to be modelled on the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. So here we go then. We're just going to go under it and as you can see there are some of the 150,000 cars which pass on it every day and underneath 157 trains go by. I'm not sure how many ships underneath but certainly it was quite busy today. Let's just hold our breath and hope we get under. Ooh. This was our first view of Lisbon as taken from our balcony. Today's excursion would take us to Estoril, which is a lovely little um, seaside town here in Portugal. And here we are actually in the centre of it. There are shops around. We didn't go to those, but a beautiful park. Um, just in front of us now is a cafe, which we would frequent in the moment. And that gave me quite a shock. And up there we've got the casino. And it's a lovely little space, but it was very, very hot. Now back to the cafe. Now the cafe serves all sorts of lovely eatery things 
and also has some great beers and coffee. It also has a toilet, which if you buy something in the cafe, you can use. And it was the toilet to give me quite a surprise. Not the, you go downstairs to go to the toilet here, and I've got a 31 inch inside leg measurement. Um, but I still needed to stand on tiptoe to use the men's urinals. Whoa, I would hate to have short legs in a place like this. Now there's a story attached to these cobbles. Let me explain. You will see many cobbles in Portugal on the pavements and on the streets. Um, these are, date back, some of them, to 1498 when King uh, Manuel I decided to have some implemented in, in the Lisbon pavements. Since then, they have become a staple of building in Portugal. And then to the beach. And that little cafe you can see just there is where we ended up having a beer a bit later on and something to eat. But the beach at Estoril are beautiful. This is the shorter of the two beaches and we spent some time there enjoying ourselves. Although I did suffer from the beginnings of sunstroke by the time we left it. Naughty Ian. And so back to the ship and back on our balcony for another look at Lisbon. Beautiful place, I love Portugal and they even sent me a heart look. It's, it's for me, look it's in blue. And as we sail away from Lisbon, it's back to our favourite restaurant, Silk, for a fabulous evening meal. Don't forget to pause so you can see what we could eat. What would you like? Put it in the comments below. Good. That's spicy, Carol. Very spicy. I'm going to try and have a dumpling now. Try and cut through it. <laughs> I think 
And not for the first time this week, the waiters all took a shine to Carol and dragged her up for a dance. And after all that excitement, time for another show. And another fantastic show it was too. Here's just a snip of it. This <laughs> is going great. Bring it over here, Logan. And we're going to put this up on the screen. Uh, I'm going to show you something really, really interesting using your phone. But first of all, let's show everybody. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Threes on your phone. This is not like any magic trick that you've ever seen. If you can even call this a magic trick, honestly. Because it doesn't fit the standard formula of a magic trick, but it is kind of magical. Watch the six threes. I've never seen this phone before. If I take one of the threes from your phone, I can drop it over here onto this one. I'm sure it'll be okay. Let's hear it for Logan, everybody. Thanks very much. Cheers. And after another fabulous day both on board and in Lisbon, it's time to set sail once again as we head forward ever closer to the Canary Islands. And in the next vlog, 
we get to take a tour around the kitchens where they produce 30,000 meals per day and how they do it. You won't want to miss this one. <laughs>